pal of mine for years, reporter. Yeah, apparently he's working on a story right now that somebody doesn't want him to report. What do you mean? Night before last, he got beat up in an alley. Yesterday, a car made a pass at him at high speed. What about today? It's early yet, Johnny. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, let's hope it's not too late. From Special Investigator Johnny Dollar to the Home Office Northeast Indemnity Affiliates, Hartford, Connecticut. Following is an accounting of expenditures during my investigation of the big scoop matter. Expense account item one, eighteen dollars and forty cents. Transportation and incidentals in New York City. I called Art Wesley's paper. He wasn't in, and nobody seemed to know where he was. Then I remembered a small bar called Tony's over on Third Avenue. I took a cab. That's item two, a dollar and a quarter, and found him in a corner booth. Sorry, Johnny, no bodyguard. Informants I'm working with will take off fast at this spot. Insurance policy your paper took out. Who's the beneficiary? You're the father's wife, Joe. Right? I split up a couple months ago. I'm sorry to get it. We're living in two different worlds. I put a home in the family. She wanted to the moon every night. Where is she now? Oh, way to the moon, I guess. Hey, look, this story you're working on, I it's hot, John. Big, real big. National gambling syndicate. Run by a guy right here in New York. decided to try his wife, Joan, even though they were separated. I found her in an apartment on East 68, but she was hardly what you call cooperative. Hello, Howard. You're a friend of mine. At the moment, I'm not. Mrs. Wesley, your marriage with Art is none of my business. That insurance policy this paper took out on him is. And incidentally, you're still a beneficiary. So? So he could be in danger of those articles he's writing. I can't see that either of those things is your business. Item three, a dollar eighty cab fare to police headquarters in the office of my old friend, Detective.